Hello everyone and welcome to a new video show thing today with Zoro the Chronicles. Which you may wonder, what is a Zoro the Chronicle? How come there's a new Zoro game out there and I haven't heard a thing about it? Well, you're not alone. Were it not for a trailer posted on the YouTube channel of the uh, Nacon publisher, which you may know as the uh, the publisher that sort of got a... Um, um, stole a, a game from Frogwares well um, I wouldn't have known that it existed either and uh, when I saw that trailer I, I posted this tweet and basically thought the game was gonna be crap and uh, I am now here to eat those words and some humble crow pie or however they put it okay it's not that great but still the game is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be so let's uh, let's dive into it Firstly, you may wonder, why does it look like this? It sort of looks like Sid Meier's Pirates from 2001. Only, you know, the pre-rendered bits of Sid Meier's Pirates from 2001. That's because it's based on a cartoon, an old CGI cartoon from 2015, made in France or something. I think it was also aired in Canada, and basically nobody remembers it. So, you may wonder, why does it exist now? Why was it released now in 2022? Well, I have no clue. Considering there's a plethora of institutions and funds and names at the beginning of the game, perhaps this was stuck in development hell for six years and only now came out with uh, well, some... Um, limitations to its content you see in that series uh, Diego was played you know Zoro was played by Johnny Young Bosch who you may know from uh, everything made after 1994 he's not in this nobody is in this apart from somebody screaming Zoro at one point there is no voice acting which again is like Sid Meier's Pirates from 2001 so this is a Zoro game. You play as Zoro, well, Diego de la, de la Vega, or his sister Ines, both as Zoro, and you get to have fun around the uh, Californian countryside, making life miserable for the soldiers and the the commander of the uh, garrison and whatever his name is. Now, some of you, um, small sub subsection of you, I hope, will say, "Oh my God." They made Zoro a woman. How dare they shove their woke politics down my very, very innocent and easily impressionable throat? Well, cool your heels. Zoro's been a woman, I think, since before World War One, Or at least World War II. About 80 years or so, at least, there's been a female Zoro. There's been TV shows focused solely on that, but... Without the name, since the uh, the company that holds the, the rights to Zoro uh, is kind of terrible. You you think, okay, why are why isn't there more Zoro uh, stuff out there? Well, it's because it's it's not in the public domain. Zoro is owned by a company that licenses the name to knives and things involved with sexy people. It's um, it's stupid. Okay, so let's dive into it. This game has 18 missions. It's 25 bucks, which I think is a bit on the high side. Honestly, if this came out for like 10, 12 bucks, I would say, yeah, absolutely get it for a kid if they want to see some Zoro action. I mean, that's basically what I gotta say about it up front. Uh, the last Zoro game I played was, uh, I think it was Shadow of Zoro on the Pentium 2. Uh, it ran terribly. Uh, I remember basically nothing of it. There haven't been many games uh, in this horror franchise since then, again, because there's a horrible company associated with the franchise. The rights holders. So let's pick a mission. Uh, let's see. It moves around if I move the mouse next to it. That's nice. So, Mon Monasterio. Uh, I'm trying to remember if this was the same name that the uh, the commander from the Disney... Zoro TV show had. I think that guy was Monta Sergio. By the way, the Disney Zoro TV show was absolutely one of the best things Disney ever did. You know, before 
turning into evil incarnate. Kind of surprised they didn't nab Zoro for themselves. Anyway, if, if you get the chance to watch the old Zoro TV show, do it. Some of it is in black and white. It's it's amazing. It's superb. And everybody's ass looked great because of the costumes. So let's get into it. View missions. This game actually lets you approach the mission from different uh, points of insertion. You can go in stealthily. Or you can go in, you know, uh, combat focused. It fundamentally doesn't make much of a difference since you can go either way no matter where you start from. Well, okay. There's some snipers out there that you will not be able to run past and can see you from afar, so it may be a bit harder to sneak if they already seen you. Other than that, you should be fine. So let's get into it and start the mission. As I said, the game looks like it was made in 2001, or at least it was pre-rendered in 2001. The animations on that waterfall are actually quite nice. The uh, it looks like it's drawn there. There's Zoro as a teenager, of course, because it's from a kid's show made in France. And that, that was our horse. The horse will, will actually show up from time to time. Now, if you're wondering what kind of game this is, um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say two words to you, well, two names to you. And I'm going to let you imagine what that would look like combined. Batman Arkham Asylum, Assassin's Creed. That's the game that you're about to see me play. It's Batman Arkham Asylum's combat, which isn't... Okay, it's not great, but it's better than Assassin's Creed's combat. And it's Assassin's Creed's open world and stuff. Well, actually, it's, it, maybe it does a bit more on the... Uh, Arkham side because you can see those lampposts, that lamppost there, right? That well, you could see if I jump on there. I can climb up there with the, with the, my whip. Also, mark enemies, which again is both like Assassin's Creed and Batman Arkham Asylum. But I say it's a bit more like Arkham Asylum because there is haystacks everywhere. Thankfully, I can jump into them, but their presence sort of made me think, yeah. Assassin's Creed, which is, well, yeah, it is, it is a bit more leaning towards, uh, towards Batman. So yeah, it's basically Batman Arkham Asylum, but with Zoro, which is not a bad idea. If someone had done it with the budget, and I missed him, I missed that sneak attack. So combat is just click, 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 and occasionally right click. Do I have to? Oh, I can't miss that. Oh, I should jump out of here. Something I like is that you saw that dynamite, right? Thrown by the enemy. It affected the enemies as well. Few games actually do that, you know? Actually have consequences for the enemy's own attacks. And I got stuck on somewhere there. And all my life is gone because I keep forgetting to dodge the sniper. Thankfully I can attack them quite well. If it wasn't for the red flashing pits, I would probably do a bit better at actually seeing the, the environment. You don't have to worry in terms of aiming, like, at all. Because there's no, not really such a thing as aiming. However, I can do special moves, like pressing 2 to uh, eliminate two enemies at once. And I think I... D no, I did not die, but I'm gonna die soon if I don't move out of the way. See? It took a big chunk of his life. And when you're at the last enemy, much like in uh, Batman of Asylum, there's a flash animation, and the animations are... Uh, well, there's a lot of them, and they can be quite, uh, quite complicated. Some of them involving the horse. There, as you can see, they're not dead. They're just winded and not really in the mood to go on fighting. So let's pick this up. I actually had a bonus objective here, which I failed, which was to attack the enemies from above, like in Assassin's Creed slash Batman Arkham Asylum, which. I don't think of it that they are, they are similar games in many ways. Let's see how we approach the next bit. Let's climb there. Now it became Spider-Man for a bit. And I missed that a bit. Let's do this. That was an instant kill animation, or well, instant knockout animation. 
the camera isn't what you would call great. But hey, it's it's par for the course for this genre. The genre being adaptations of uh, TV shows or movies that were supposed to be released alongside them, but now it's about five years too late. Like I said, the haystacks can jump into them, but you can get those guys to fall into them. There is a lot of environmental uh, interaction, actually more than I expected. The enemies, you can get them to bump into things and knock themselves out. I'm actually going to show you right now uh, what I mean. Can't do anything with the chickens though. The game does not let you do anything with chickens. Stealth KO, I just pulled a hat over his eyes. Let's see, can he... See, he just knocked himself out. And somebody rang an alarm. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Get there faster. I was supposed to knock out the alarm, but I didn't. I think that alarm was the thing that really mostly reminded me of uh, Assassin's Creed. That and the, the guys with the shields. It really remind me a lot of the guys from Assassin's Creed 2. With the shield and the big armor. And that was an... That was an animation, a, a knockout animation that you can trigger when you have a, one of those lightning bolts. Should have been a tornado, you know, because the horse is named Tornado. That would have made more sense. Also, I got all these guys to knock themselves out by smashing against that wall. That guy still can't figure out how to pull the hat off his eyes. Yeah, th th this tracks, it's, it's a children's show. Oh, we also have posters. Which can place on walls to, you know, discredit the uh, the leadership. That guy. Now he's the one who's wanted. Ha ha ha. This is so, so corny. And it's okay. It's, it's fine. I really... Considering what kind of game this is, I'm... I don't really know if I have much ill to say of it. Consider that... Warner Bros. released two games with a whole lot more budget than this, which had fundamentally the same combat as this. Like, it's exactly the same combat. Though instead of being having the gimmick of being based on Zoro, those had the gimmick of having a patented nemesis system and ruining Lord of the Rings. Otherwise, it's the exact same game. This actually has an advantage. You see, apart from that interaction between enemies and their environments and themselves and them getting stuck in animation loops, you don't have to pick up any plants. There is no crafting in this. Can I say that, that, that I've begun to relish games that don't have crafting shoehorned into them? I mean, sure, the price is... This happens on occasion, but... I don't have to pick up these plants to make, you know, a, a gunpowder for my wrist-mounted handgun that I crafted by uh, cutting down 20 of these cactuses, 12 palm trees, and a donkey. It's actually, uh, you know, fun to play. Okay, same animation, the stealth of man. Could have, could have added one more. Could have added one more. Now we have to rescue the prisoners, I think. Maybe it's up there. Where should we go to? That's where I came in from. Yeah, I think it's up here. Let's go. Controls aren't all that great in terms of ledges. It, it You don't jump over them. You sort of uh, push yourself into them and you automatically... Uh, this is the Assassin's Creed bit. So knock guards into water. Okay, I'm gonna just first do this. Then I'm gonna knock this guy into water. And he's not drowning. He's not dead. He's just... Oh, okay. This is the Assassin's Creed bit, though. Zoro can swim. Remember Assassin's Creed 1? I mean, Zoro can probably walk into Jerusalem, but he can't swim. Okay, so we have... Uh, do we have the second key already? Okay, yeah, we still have to rescue two prisoners. I think they're up there because I can see some cages up there. Those guys respawned. Let's go up here. Mark 7 enemies with the spy M class. Okay. 
this gives me more stuff that I can use to unlock skills, which I'm going to show you the skills in a second. Come on, move around. Challenges aren't what you would call complicated, but you have to pay attention to them. They can offer you useful rewards. Okay, so those are the guys. Okay, exit. Let's go to skills now. Uh, where were these skills button? Okay, escape. So I can get stuff like expert counter to get uh, more uh, lightning. I can get the ability to throw dynamite back, more lightning, powerful blows at distant enemies. I also have a stun move, which I've never used really because I don't see the, the point of it. Enemies don't, aren't really that much of a hassle when playing on normal. Maybe Maybe it's mandatory on higher difficulties. Let's let's get the hammer strike. Actually, no, I can't because I don't have enough enough Zoro points, which I would like to highlight. You don't buy Zoro points with microtransactions, so I I'm honestly finding fewer and fewer things to complain in this game about as time goes on. I can even distract people with this, and then do this to their heads, and then do this. Oh. Thought I could get another. Oh no 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 no! Ah, he managed to ring the bell. I should have disabled the bell first. Oh well, that one's on me. That guy's going for a wall. That guy dropped in the face. These guys are a bit like Sergeant Garcia. I imagine there will be more enemies, like maybe one or two, showing up as time goes on. I should move away and get them to... Can I still get the bonus for throwing you in water? No, I can't because that was for a different area. There should have been a bonus of throwing these guys into the fountain. There wasn't. Let's free some prisoners and then probably get onto our horse. Of course. Be free, my friends. I, Don Diego de la Vega, I mean I, Zorro. Have now freed you. Rescue the prisoners, number one and number two. Where are the other prisoners? I think they're on the other side. Yes, they are on the other side. And I can just do this. Oh yeah, this is the area with knocking them into water. What's up? Come on, come on. That's right, line up. Come on, line up. One at a time, one at a time. No need to rush. Okay, I'm... Ah, damn it, I did it again. God damn, did it again. God damn it. The game is quite adamant that you should not be able to swim. I don't know, maybe this sword didn't learn how to swim. I mean, there's been kookier versions of Zoro in the past. At one point, he was blonde and in an anime. We used to watch the crap out of that anime on TVR1 when it came out. In Romania, I mean. It probably came out in the 70s or something for everybody else. Let us try this again. One. Two. And I'm out. Oh, oh. Sniper, sniper. Just need one more of you guys into the water. Come on. Just one more guy. Come on. There you go. Congratulations. Four of you. How oh, nice. Like I said, flash anime. The animation did that, not me. I did not move forward. Okay. Man, this is this is getting harder than I than a game made for kids should be. It's it's getting aggravating a bit. Okay, let's let's Okay, did that. Okay. Screw it. I'm I'm gonna stealth my way to to rescuing them. I'm gonna disable the... Actually, there's no bell here. So I don't have anything to disable. Let's... Let's... Sneak. He heard something. Oh, he, his back wasn't turned, so he... I couldn't sneak attack him. I am gonna have to take out the sniper, though. I can't open that cage where they're here, because the, the time it takes me to actually open it, to interact with it, is quite high. 
One neat thing would have been if the big bonus completed sign would have disappeared after the bonus was completed so I can actually see the enemies in that bit of the uh, screen. Oh yeah, so you can interact with the chickens. And the chickens are absolutely murderous. Like most chickens are in video games. Actually, I don't know how Counter-Strike got away with it. I mean, it's one of the few games where you can actively hurt a chicken and not be severely punished. Oh, you're back. Well, you're not back anymore. It just went spinning. And there should be a neat animation right now. No, he just slammed face first into a, into a pole. Come on. Playing with Ines is exactly the same thing, but she has one more life and one fewer lightning bolt. Otherwise, it's the exact same game. And now we have to go stop the poison flow, which would mean uh, maybe turning off Twitter. Voila. The water has been liberated from poison. Okay, now we have to find the horse. Oh, there's 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 a poster. There is like seven of them hidden around, so there's there's a bit of a you know a replay value, I guess you would say. You'd need to be with a, it's basically four hours long, from what I've been told. It's not that long of a game. I don't see a problem. Okay, the price maybe. Again, if, I, if this was ten bucks, yeah, absolutely buy it for a kid. Absolutely, no doubt in my mind. It's decent. It doesn't have microtransactions. Doesn't have gotcha mechanics. It, it's not crap. I mean, it's, it's not stellar or anything. It you could buy Sid Meier's Pirates instead, but that doesn't have Zoro. It does have you know uh, sword fighting, but. I'm not as involved as this. I mean, if you can call this involved. The whole Arkham formula that it is. How do I get back there? Aha. Uh -huh. It was a puzzle all along. And I had failed it. Up until now. Okay. Let's go get our horse. But first, let's go get this guy off our case. Yeah, the game isn't what you would call difficult. It just... It causes certain situations <laughs> at some points. Let's get our horse. Come on. And he fell to the water. Aha, I've disabled your alarm. Yeah, the character will teleport from, from place to place. Aiming again at the enemies is kind of pointless. Whichever one gets illuminated by the, the algorithm is going to be the next target. It, it's sort of like, like playing any post-Arkham game. You don't really control much. You just sort of initiate the next sequence of awesome animations. Like this. You could have just had the whole game be nothing but takedowns that would have not really lost much in terms of gameplay value. And here we are at the uh, horsey horse. Did not get the kill, uh, kill, a takedown animation for the horse. Oh, oh, no, wait, wait. Maybe we'll get now one. Let's feed our, our combo meter. I have to dodge this. Dodge roll, repetition. Jump over the guys. Do this. The old pants fall down trick. Fall for them every time. Wave, 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 wave. He jumped to get a guy automatically. And more guys. Oh, oh, there's a sniper. Come on, I need more power. I need to take out this guy so I can dodge and counteract. Come on. I need to do a counter. Yes. I need one more counter. Come on. I want to get the horse. I want to get the horse animation. So, come on. Jump. Jump back. Jump back. I hope they don't die. I actually have a bonus for uh, this. And he jumped into the water by himself. Damn it. 
The horse will do this quite often. He'll bang on the gates. Occasionally he will show up in combat and kick somebody in the face. Well, that's basically that's Zor the Chronicle. Chronicles. It's... I don't know. It, it honestly, it's more fun to play than um, Asterix and Obelix XXL2, which... Hey, do you remember when I made a show about Asterix and Obelix XXL2, the, re the remaster, in uh, 2018, in December 2018? I do. I know I recorded it. I know I was bored to tears by it. I, I found the, vid the, the description file of the video that was supposed to go on YouTube. I do not know if I actually ever made that video. I mean, I remember recording it. I don't know if I edited it, if I rendered it, if I sent it to Raul. I don't know what happened to it. I know I made it. It's the second show I've had this issue with. The other one was supposed to go out in December 2019. It was supposed to be about EDF, which again, I remember recording footage from it. I remember, I, I mean, I found the, the file, the, uh, well, not what you call a script, but the, the, the YouTube video description file, which I tend to write after the video is made, but I don't, I don't know where the video is. I don't know what happened to it. I think I need more dried frog pills because I'm starting to go insane. Or sane, I don't know. Anyway, this is the game. It's... It is what it is. It's... And I'll lock mission 7. And mission 18 is up here. It's... It's okay. It's an okay game. Not great. As you can probably see from the menu where the, this thing, you can't really get away from this thing. It will always be there. If I, if I press back now, actually I can't press back. It, it'll just always be there. Covering the main character. It's a weird game. Probably in a couple of years, it's going to be a documentary about the development of this thing, how it was some tragedy or something. Who knows? I have no clue. I, I'm just mystified that it's out now, as opposed to in 2016 as some dollar store shovelware game. Which, you know, a shovelware games, this isn't bad. Kind of reminds me of that, uh, that Turtles game that came out. Actually, there were two turtle games that came out, and the first one was kind of okayish, and the second one just copied what the other one did, and everybody hated it. Man. I should play the new Ninja Turtles game, because that one actually looks nice. Well, i uh, see you around when I see you around. Uh, hopefully, we'll uh, have some actual, you know, uh, somewhat scripted, not whatever this thing is, kind of video out for you soon. June was a very busy week or month, possibly. I know I was in Ireland, so I don't know how much time passed in the real world. Uh, so I'll try to have more shows for you soon. Uh, see you when I do. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. Also, um, uh, I'm not sure if you've heard this, but we now have a sponsor for these shows. It's it's that guy, Ivan. He keeps asking me to pay him 20 bucks and threatening me with a hammer. So if you have 20 bucks, you can, you can pay me so I can pay him. It's not so much of a sponsor as it is a threat. Now is it? Either way, it seems to work out. Goodbye.